Hey guys, Ms. B. Hanley here today, and we're talking about parallelism. Parallelism is the same grammatical structure or pattern to express similar ideas. Effective use of parallelism adds rhythm and balance to your writing, as well as strengthens the connections between your ideas. Before we get into what parallelism is, I want to give you an example of a non-parallel example. In our example, dress codes are less restrictive, less costly, and are not a controversial system is not a parallel example. In fact, there's so many words in this sentence that we can actually cut some out to make it more parallel. Now in our example, dress codes are less restrictive, less costly, and less controversial. Our parallel structure is the use of the same structure for each idea. Less restrictive, less costly, and less controversial. Instead of using the words that we had in our previous example, we've condensed our sentence down and made it more parallel and easier to understand. Parallelism can be used in many different ways when you're writing. Most common way it is used is in verb forms. In this verb form, go ask, learn, and share, each verb form is presented in the same way. If I were to change my sentence to he was asking, learning, and sharing, this is still parallelism because each verb form is presented in the same way. The next way we use parallelism in our writing is through the representation of nouns in a piece of writing. For example, he had sharp eyes, strong hands, and thin, thin fingers. I am presenting each noun with an adjective that goes before it. Sharp eyes, strong hands, and thin fingers. Another way parallel Parallelism can be used is in descriptions of phrases. In our example, under a gray sky near an icy river, I'm using the preposition to start and then describing the place where it is the action is. Under a gray sky, our preposition under, near our preposition, an icy river. Parallelism also works with adverb clauses and adjective clauses. In our adverb clause, when I am happy, when I am peaceful, can describe somebody's state of being. In our adjective clause, who read with care, who act with concern, could describe a person or a noun. Both of these ideas are presented in the same grammatical way and in the same pattern to make our ideas clearer and easier to understand. When we use parallelism in our writing, it is easier for the reader to understand our ideas and it'll make our ideas flow better in our writing. I hope this helped you understand parallelism a little bit better. If you have questions, you can ask me in class or of course, leave a comment down below. Please subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when a new video is coming up. You can of course like this video or leave me some good vibes down in the comments. I would be happy to have them, happy to have your support. Make sure you are taking notes and I will see you in class. Bye. Parallelism. Parallelism.